This is Mark Wu from eproblemer.com. I'm going to talk about how to do um, material analysis in POE, FGA analysis, fi uh, finite element analysis. So we are going to do a very simple example in this case. You will understand the concept, how to do, do it. So next time when you uh, need to do any analysis, you can, you can do it yourself. Um, so first of all, we are going to draw a bar, a very simple bar. We draw a square and then do an extrude to make it as a bar. This step is very simple, and if you have any problem with this, you can uh, look at our YouTube video. We have other YouTube video teaching how to do the simple join. Okay, so the basic structure is finished. Now. We are going to go to application, mechanical, mechanical model setup. We can keep everything as default. In the constraint, we are going to set one phase to be we are going to set one phase to be um, fixed in all the translation and rotational direction. Now we add the gravitational force to the object. Set the Y component to be minus 9.81. You can see there is an arrow pointing downward. We create a pressure low. We create a force low on the top surface. We select Q Newton and 5,000 Q Newton. But that is upward force. However, we want some downward force, so we need to change it to minus 5,000 Q Newton. That is the analysis and design study function. But before we do that, we need to assign material so that you know what kind of material is it? Is it a plastic? Is it like copper? Is that steel or whatever? After you select the material, you need to assign it. After you assign it, you will see the part. We will have this red prick on it. If the reflect is on it, then the material you selected is assigned on the graph, on the part, so that you can run the study now. You see that it's a constraint and the low set. We do multi-pass adaptive method. Take OK. Run it. It should not take very long.
and kick this. We see the one miss stress, and you can see the stress distribution. The maximum is 1.36 G to the power 7, as you can see on this chart. And you can see the unit in here. If you want to show other stuff, you can show the displacement in inch. And you can see the right hand side, the right hand side figure is showing the displacement value. You can rotate it to see it at different angle. The left hand side is a one mistress, right hand side is a displacement. If you want to show more stuff, you can just take it one more time, select the stuff you want to show. This time it's the total energy. In the display option, you can do animation. If you do this, you will see the bar is moving. That is showing the result. If there is a force acting on it, what will happen? You can select different type of stuff in this video, in the animation. The animation currently showing is for the displacement.